Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll go over aligning and distributing objects in Corel Draw. And I do use this feature quite frequently because many times I'm creating a design I want to align and distribute things. Let's start by opening the Align and Distribute Docker. We can go to Window, Dockers, come down here to Align and Distribute or Control Shift A as the shortcut. And I'll click off and I'll hit Control Shift A and that'll bring that up. Now you can see everything's grayed out and it's going to stay like that until I make a selection of objects. To get started, let's take a look at the align and distribution points. Those would be top, right, bottom, left, and center. I'm going to select these four objects here. So I'll left click, holding down with my pick tool, and lasso those objects. Now we'll see that everything that was grayed out in the Align and Distribute Docker is no longer grayed out. Now the first option that we have is we have Align Objects 2. This is set to Active Objects. We could change that to the Page Edge. We could change that to the Page Center. Change that to a Grid. Or we could change that to a Specified Point. Distribution of Objects 2. Extent of selection, extent of page, and those are the options that we can set up for alignment and distribution when we start doing aligning and distributing. Now with these four objects selected, set to active objects, they're going to align to the last selected object. So if I go through and I hold down shift instead of just lassoing, and I select this object last, that's the object that the alignment will be going to. Now if I come up here and align to center, you'll see that because that was the last object selected, everything aligned to the last object selected. I'll hit Control Z and go back. If I go to align to bottom, right here, Everything aligned to the bottom of the last object selected. And I'll click off and hit Control Z. Now I can also use keyboard shortcuts and we have them all listed out for you down here. And you can work with them on the page that you can download from advancedtshirts.com. I can also hit T on my keyboard or press T and that will align them to the top. Control Z and press C to the center. Control Z and press L to the left. Control Z. Let's say I want to align all of these objects to the right of this object being the object that I want to align to. Holding down Shift, select, select. This is the last selection. Hit R and everything will align to the right, just like that. I'll hit Control Z. Now, if I want to distribute these objects, and I'll move this over here and this over here so there's some space between them. Let's say I want to align them and distribute them. And of course, you can go here, you've got align to top, align to center, etc. And these are all here as shortcut keys. I can select these without selecting the last object. Go to top, they'll all go to top. Now if I want to distribute them, I can come over here, distribute space horizontally. 
and they'll be distributed so they're evenly spaced apart. That's your distribution. So now these objects have been aligned and distributed. Now I can also select objects like this and let's say I want to center all of these three objects to each other. I'll hit C that aligns to the center and E that aligns horizontally. So now I've centered everything with just two hotkeys on my keyboard as opposed to going through the Align and Distribute Docker. So here we've gotten into the basics. You can go through and experiment with these different settings and you'll be very effective with aligning and distributing objects in CorelDRAW in your graphic design process. And we've got all the hotkeys down here. And you can download this file from our website with all these for reference. But if I just left click, let's say I want to center everything in this design, select it all, hit C, it's centered. If I want to move this 2018 up a little bit, I'll just select that. And I'm pushing forward on my arrow. Now I'm using nudge to make an adjustment to the position of the object. So wrap here concerning aligning and distributing objects in CorelDRAW and we'll continue in our next video.